Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder, and as always, welcome to the channel. You know what the LS community really needs? They need a camshaft matrix. That's right, Richard, what the heck is a camshaft matrix? I'm glad you asked. Before we get to that, please make sure, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff so you get notified when I do all this crazy testing. Camshaft matrix is the following. Rather than do one camshaft versus another camshaft, which I like to do because we find out what this cam does and what this cam does, I've broken camshafts down into duration numbers. That's right. We're looking at cam duration numbers going from 190 to 200 degrees, from 200 to 210, from 210 to 220, from 220 to 230, and then 230 and above because that, that satisfies the whole range of really available piston to valve clearance for your typical LS motor. And here's the thing. Yes, I test individual camshafts, but what happens if I go get a camshaft from another manufacturer? That's what this matrix is going to tell you. If you go get a camshaft and it fits in this range, the chances are very, very, very good that you're going to get gains like I'm showing here. So if you want to go get a camshaft from another manufacturer, from any manufacturer, before you do that, watch this video. Okay, guys, rather than take a look at specific cam tests, which I love to do, that way we get back-to-back -back dyno results, I decided I was going to do a cam matrix test. I'm going to show you what cams in a given duration range. This is typically what they're going to do. So we're going to look at 190 to 200, 200 to 210, 210 to 220, 220 to 230, and then 230 plus cams because that kind of extends beyond right into and then beyond the limit of available piston valve clearance with most factory LS applications. So let's take a look starting off with our camshafts that range from 190 degrees at 50 on the intake duration, that's what I'm using as my metric, up to 200 degrees. This is kind of in the range of most of the factory cams. Take a look at the LM7 cam, which this is an example of, 191 degrees of duration. So fairly tame, in fact, the smallest of all of the factory cams. But let's take a look and see what happens when we do a fairly mild cam upgrade. This one was, the first one we're going to take a look at is the factory LSA cam, because it's one of the only other factory cam shafts that also fits into that that uh, duration range that we're taking a look at. But you can see, that I'm going to go ahead and put the specs up on the LSA cam. So we'll take a look at that. So the LSA cam checked in at 480 lift, both intake and exhaust, 198 and 216 exhaust duration split, and 122.5 degree lobe separation angle. And that compares to on the LM7, like I said, we had 190 degrees of intake duration. So it's a little bit of a step up in intake duration. As we saw, we got a pretty good gain. What you're looking for when you're looking at cams in this range from 190 degrees at 50 to, to uh, 200 degrees at 50, you're looking for gains that are going to be around uh, 30 horsepower or so. And we're seeing that in this case, the test went from 353 horsepower up to 388 horsepower. And you're looking at not a big gain in torque. Usually 10 to 15 foot pound range is kind of where we're looking at for this kind of this these types of mild camshafts. And here's another example. If you didn't want to use a factory camshaft and take a look at I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the LSA cam. So if we look, this is an aftermarket cam. This <coughs> excuse me, this one was from Crane. This one was right at our limit of 200 degrees of duration. It was a, it was 502 lift, a 200 208 degree duration split, and 115 degree lobe separation angle. And you can see it kind of gained around the same power. It was still in the in the low 380 range. Um, peak torque was up from 383 up to 401, so a little more than our 15 foot pound range. But you can see this is kind of the thing that you're looking for. If you get a camshaft that's between to 190 and 200 degrees of intake duration. You can juggle the other things around, but these are the kind of gains that you're looking at. Now, obviously we could make more power if we had, instead of stock heads, we had ported heads, or if we had a better intake manifold, we obviously could make even more power, but this is kind of what to expect with camshafts in this duration range. Now let's step up in our camshaft matrix to cams ranging from 200 degrees at 50 on the intake to 210 degrees. A lot of factory, other factory cams fit into this range. We're going to start off with our comparison one. This is a 5.3 with our uh, LM7 camshaft, our 191 degree duration camshaft. And if we take a look at the other cams that fit into this range between 200 and 210 degrees of intake duration, a good example of this would be like the factory LS6 camshaft. And you can see it does very well. We went from 353 horsepower up to 408. So 
Camshafts in this duration range will certainly take you over 400 horsepower flywheel, and you're looking at gains of 40 to 50 horsepower kind of in this range. You can see in, in the case of the LS6 versus the LM7 camshaft, it did lose a good bit of power below 4,500 RPM. So if you wanted to not do that and you wanted to use an aftermarket cam, some guys use like using these factory ones because guys sell them, you know, on the cheap so you can see big power gains past 4500 so if you're looking at 45 to 65 something like the ls6 camshaft is going to work pretty well and i'll go ahead and put the specs up for the ls6 so you can kind of compare it but what happens is instead of running one of the factory cams which are affordable let's look at let's take a look at a typical aftermarket cam and this is a crane 210 cam i'm going to go ahead and get rid of our ls6 that way you'll be able to see the obviously the the crane camshaft. I'm going to go ahead and put the specs up here. In fact, we can take a look at that. I think I think we're marked down here. So the crane cam is a 551 lift. It is a 210, 218 degree duration and 116 degree lobe separation angle. And this is typical of the kind of cams that you're going to find in this range. And this is also the range of most of the stage one kind of truck cams also. They all fit in here. So what I'm talking about in this matrix is if you take a look if you get a cam from Brian Tilly Racing or Texas Speed or Cam Motion or Iski or, or any of the cam suppliers comp or any of the guys and they're kind of in this range, this is what you're likely to expect. So you're talking about a cam that can make over 400 horsepower flywheel. You're going to make, you're going to add between 40 and 50 horsepower. You, again, you could be, you could get more than that if you have heads and camshaft and that kind of stuff. And you could make more than the 400 horsepower number, which we did here. In fact, we were up at 412 horsepower. Peak torque was up to 406 foot pounds. So again, you're looking at, you know, in terms of torque, you're looking at, we went from 383 to 406 foot pounds. But this is kind of what you're looking at in this range. Now let's take a look and see what happens when we step up to the 210 to 20 degrees of intake duration. Now let's take a look at camshafts in the 210 to 220 degrees of intake duration range. We're going to take a look at a couple of different ones here. And these are camshafts that you can expect to exceed 425 horsepower, certainly possible. On a 5.3 liter, you're talking about gaining 50 to 60 horsepower or more and 20 to 25 foot-pounds of torque. So these, these camshafts are definitely going to offer good gains. So we have our stock LM7 camshaft here, 353 and 383. Take a look. This is actually a factory LS9 camshaft, which fits in this intake duration range. This is if you wanted to select some sort of, you know, stock camshaft. This would certainly fit the bill. This thing made 419 horsepower and peak torque checked in at 393. So we didn't gain a lot of torque on this one. And I'm showing you why. We're going to take a look at an aftermarket camshaft here too. The reason is it loses so much power below 4,400 RPM. But again, uh, guys have lots of these because lots of the LS9 guys have upgraded to better camshafts and they can make a lot more power. So let's take a look and see what happens when we add something that, you know, would be more of an aftermarket deal. We did this test on a on an L33, so I need to change the baseline. We didn't do it on an LM7. This gives you an idea. So this is our L33 with a stock camshaft, and this is how much power we're making now. With an aftermarket cam, this particular one was a um, Brian Tooley Racing Truck Norris cam, which at, you know, in the 210, 211 degree duration range, it's actually on the smaller side of this range. You know, you could go up to 220. And so if you go up to a camshaft that has more duration than that, you certainly can make more power. But you can see this combination made 425 horsepower. And it produced 415 foot-pounds of torque. So this gives you a pretty good idea. And again, this is all with just header. This is an otherwise stock. This one was an L33, so it had the 799 heads on it. It had the flat top pistons on it. And you would see an even bigger change in power had we started with the LM7 camshaft. So the gains that you get are obviously a direct function of where you're starting. So if you're starting with the mildest of the cams, you get bigger gains. But in this particular instance, we, we use the L33 camshaft, but it shows you how much power this camshaft will support. And you can see that the power kept going. So if you're getting a Chapacabra or a Truck Norris or the Cam Motion version of this, or, or Comp, if they've got a camshaft that's close, anything in this kind of range, this is the kind of thing you could expect. Now let's see what happens when we step up even more to the 220 to 230 degree duration range. 
Stepping up in our cam matrix, now we're gonna take a look at camshafts that range from 220 to 230 degrees of camshaft. And these are pretty good sized camshafts, especially for a certainly big for a 4.8 and pretty good size for a 5.3 liter. For these cams, you're looking at cams that were capable of making 450 plus horsepower. You're looking at gains could be 70 to 80 or even more horsepower, depending on what kind of combination you have put together, 25 foot pounds of torque. So we'll take a look at a couple examples. This is the range where you find all of the, <laughs> the famous name cams, the, the Matt Sloppy Stage 2 or the Elgin Sloppy Stage 2. Uh, I've tested a Brian Tooley Racing Red Hot cam. Also, all the Stage 2 and or, or Stage 4 uh, truck cams are kind of in this range where the Stage 2 and 3 were back in the 210 to 220 range. But this is, uh, once again, our aluminum L33 5.3 liter, made 365 horsepower. 389 foot-pounds with the stock camshaft in it. Let's get an idea of how much power, you know, a good camshaft is going to support. So we take a look at a sloppy stage two. This thing made good power through uh, 439 horsepower. <coughs> so it did very well. Torque was up to 414 foot-pounds. The sloppy stage two being a 228, 230 cam at 50 did lose power down low. You can see down here below 3,600 it lost power. And I'll give you another example. Here is the, um, I ran this at the same time, a Brian Tooley Racing Hot Rod Cam. And I'll go ahead and, uh, just as I did, Paul, I put the specs up for the Sloppy Stage 2. We'll put the full specs up for this um, Brian Tooley Racing um, Hot Rod Cam. You can see the Hot Rod Cam did essentially kind of what the Sloppy Stage 2 did, although it picked up a pretty good bit of power you know, past 5,000 RPM. It was actually up to 400, right at 450 horsepower, 449.5. Peak torque was just a whisker over the sloppy stage two, you know, 414, 415 and change. So this is kind of what you could expect for camshafts in this range. Like I said, 70, 80, even more horsepower gain. You'll gear, these things will support 450 or even more horsepower. If we were to throw a fast intake manifold on this or ported heads, you're talking about making some fairly serious power with this kind of combination. Let's step up now to our final stage, which is the 230 plus range, which puts us into the range, the, definitely the possibility of piston to valve clearance. Okay, our final set of cams in our matrix are those that have 230 plus degrees of intake duration, kind of like the, the Comp 459 and 469 camshafts that I run a lot. Those are 231. This one, particular one I'm going to show you is a Summit Stage 4 camshaft, and that's 234 degrees of duration. As always, I'll go ahead and put the specs up here. And this actually is <laughs> not a direct comparison of the camshaft, but it just shows you where we could start from and where we could end. And we're going to talk a little bit about what the combination that I put together. So this is our, this is a stock LM7. This is a not stock LM7 <laughs> with the Summit Stage 4 camshaft in it. It made 476 horsepower and 424 foot pounds of torque. So it shows you what the potential is. Now this particular combination was a stock bottom end, but this was a, the combination that came from the guys at Strictly Performance. So it had a flat top piston in it. Um, they set it up so that we could run lots of boost on it. Unfortunately, I, <laughs> I heard it. So I damaged the motor before we could run lots of boost in it. We did get to run a few tests with it and on turbos and various things and with it, Vortec and everything. But before we did this, we had done this test and I would put the, I had run this Summit Stage 4 camshaft in it. And this thing was run with the factory truck intake manifold, long tube headers, but it did have a set of ported 706 heads from the guys at K-Tech. They still had stock valve sizes, but this is just a porting program that the K-Tech guys had developed and the guys from Strictly Performance used it on their motor. So this thing made 476 horsepower with a set of mildly ported 706 heads and the truck truck intake manifold and long tube headers. It shows you what kind of power a camshaft like this will support. In fact, I'm certain that you're talking about a camshaft that can make 470 plus horsepower, which we've seen. You can add between, you know, 90 and 100 horsepower with camshafts like this compared to a stock camshaft. And this thing will easily support 500 horsepower on a 5.3. So if we had a fast intake manifold, 102 millimeter throttle body, or even a you know, a Holly high ram intake manifold, something that will flow the air that we need to make power in this kind of RPM range. The fast works very well. 
We got a set of fully ported 706 or TrickFlow 205 heads. This camshaft is certainly a 500 horsepower camshaft on a 5.3 liter. That should show you where you need to look when you're picking the right kind of camshaft, what kind of duration range you want. Quite honestly, there are lots and lots of good camshafts out there from lots and lots of different manufacturers. You can pick those, but in these ranges, this is what they'll do. Armature holder, please make sure, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.